What if I told you your car could easily hit 300,000 miles, but it's quietly dying because of something you can't even see? Not engine noise, not a warning light, not even strange smells, but the slow, silent breakdown of the fluids inside it. And here's the kicker. Most drivers don't check half of them. In fact, neglecting just one of these fluids could be the reason your car gives up on you before it's time. Stick around, because these eight fluids are the real secret to making your car run forever. And number six is one mechanic say you'll likely ignore until it's too late. One, engine oil, the lifeblood of your vehicle. Let's start with the obvious, but easily the most misunderstood, engine oil. It's not just about quantity, it's about quality and consistency. Modern engines are finely tuned machines, and once oil loses its viscosity or gets contaminated with carbon and metal shavings, it doesn't just stop working, it becomes dangerous. Dirty oil accelerates friction, wears out seals, damages pistons, and clogs oil passages. High mileage engines are especially vulnerable, and synthetic oil with detergents designed for older motors can drastically improve longevity. Pro tip, follow a 5,000 mile oil change interval, not the overly optimistic 10,000 miles your owner's manual may suggest. If you live in a hot climate or sit in traffic a lot, even 4,000 miles might be ideal. Skipping just one change can lead to irreversible engine damage, and you wouldn't know until your check engine light screams for help. Two, transmission fluid. The silent gear saver. Your transmission is a complex system of gears, valves, and torquey converters, all requiring hydraulic fluid to function properly. Over time, this fluid breaks down, especially in automatic transmissions, losing its ability to maintain pressure, cool the system, and prevent clutch slippage. If you've ever noticed your car hesitating between gears or shifting roughly, aging fluid could be the root cause. The danger? Many cars label their fluid as lifetime, but veteran mechanics unanimously agree no fluid lasts forever. Flush or replace it every 30,000, 60,000 miles, especially if you tow, drive in stop and go traffic, or climb a lot of hills. Use only OEM specified fluids. Universal blends can cause slippage or premature wear. A $120 fluid change can prevent a $4,000 transmission rebuild. Don't wait until your car starts jerking on the freeway. Three, coolant, your engine's personal bodyguard. You think coolant is only for keeping your engine from overheating? Think again. It also prevents corrosion, maintains proper pressure in the cooling system, and lubricates critical parts like the water pump. As coolant ages, it turns acidic, losing its ability to regulate temperature and eat away at your radiator, hoses, thermostat, and gaskets. That's why an overheated engine isn't always about driving hard, it could be bad coolant doing the damage quietly over time. Tip from longtime mechanics. Don't just top off coolant. Test it with a hydrometer or test strip and flush it every two to five years, depending on the formula. Using the wrong type or mixing types can be just as destructive as not replacing it at all. Bad coolant can warp your cylinder head, blow your head gasket, or fry your water pump. That's not a $50 fix. It's a multi-thousand dollar catastrophe. Four, brake fluid, the most overlooked safety. Fluid brake fluid is often forgotten because it works invisibly until it doesn't. It's hygroscopic, meaning it absorbs moisture from the air, even inside a sealed system. Over time, this leads to a lower boiling point, internal corrosion, and worst of all, soft or fading brakes. In high heat or panic stops, old fluid can boil, causing brake fade, a terrifying delay in stopping power. The fix? Replace brake fluid every two or three years, regardless of mileage. Most drivers never do this, and yet 
it's one of the cheapest forms of insurance you can give your braking system. Pro mechanics know this. Old brake fluid is one of the biggest culprits in failed ABS modules and sticky calipers, costing you hundreds more down the line. 5. Power steering fluid. Don't let it whine. Ever hear a high-pitched whining when you turn the wheel? That's your power steering pump crying for help. Power steering fluid does more than assist turning. It cools and lubricates high-pressure hydraulic components. Like all fluids, it breaks down over time and becomes contaminated with rubber particles and debris. Most power steering failures start with old fluid causing pump or rack deterioration. And guess what? Fixing a rack or pump isn't cheap. It can run anywhere from $600 to $1,200. Best practice, flush it every 50,000 to 75,000 miles. If you hear whining, feel resistance, or notice fluid color turning dark brown or black, it's overdue. Mechanics see this all the time. A simple $70 flush could have saved a $1,000 repair. Six, differential fluid the forgotten drivetrain. Hero, when was the last time you checked your differential fluid? If you had to Google what that even is, you're not alone. Whether you drive rear wheel, front wheel, or all wheel drive, your vehicle has a differential that allows the wheels to rotate at different speeds during turns. Inside this housing are gears that work under tremendous pressure and they depend entirely on heavy-duty gear oil. The problem? Gear oil doesn't circulate like engine oil. It just sits there, aging and collecting microscopic metal shavings. Left unchanged, it starts to lose viscosity, and those gears grind down. Eventually, you'll hear whining or clunking sounds from the rear. Or worse, the gears seize entirely. Rule of thumb, change differential fluid every 30,000 to 60,000 miles, depending on your driving habits and vehicle type. It's a 20-minute service that could prevent thousands in repairs. Many mechanics call this the most skipped maintenance item on the car. Don't be part of that statistic. Seven, windshield washer fluid. More important than you think. Yes, washer fluid made this list and no, it's not a joke. Visibility is safety, and if your windshield isn't crystal clear during rain, bugs, or road grime, you're literally driving blind. But here's the bigger issue. People often top off with plain water, especially in warm climates. That's a huge mistake. Why? Water grows algae and bacteria in the reservoir, clogs the jets, and can freeze in winter, cracking your pump or tank. Washer fluid is formulated to clean effectively and resist freezing. Some premium blends even include water repellent additives, improving vision in rain. And here's a bonus. Regularly using washer fluid extends the life of your wiper blades. Dry wiping wears the blades out fast and scratches your windshield. Moral of the story? Keep it full, use the good stuff, and check it monthly. It's small, but the payoff is massive. Eat Ols Eper Air Conditioning Refrigerant. It's more than cold air. Think your AC only affects cabin comfort? Think again. Modern cars integrate the AC system with engine cooling, electrical systems, and even fuel efficiency. Low refrigerant puts extra stress on your compressor, makes the engine work harder, and can shorten belt and bearing life. The AC compressor is driven by your serpentine belt, which also powers your alternator, power steering, and sometimes the water pump. If your AC is straining due to low refrigerant, it drags the whole system down. And when refrigerant runs low, the oil that lubricates the compressor doesn't circulate properly, leading to early compressor failure, which can cost upwards of $1,100. Pro tip, if your AC takes longer to cool or isn't as cold as it used to be, have the refrigerant pressure tested. It's often just a small top-off that can save your entire system. Want long-lasting belts, fuel savings, and a healthier engine load? 
Don't ignore your AC. Closing section, the secret to making your car run forever. Here's what separates cars that die at 120,000 miles from the legends that pass 300K, 400K, even half a million miles. Consistent fluid focus maintenance. It's not just about keeping the engine cool or the gears shifting smoothly. It's about respecting the entire machine. Every fluid in your car has a job, and when one fails, the dominoes start falling. Most car owners rely on warning lights and assume the car will tell them when something's wrong. But by the time the dashboard lights up, the damage is already done. Predictive maintenance starts here, with fluids. Mechanics know it. Fleet operators swear by it. And if you want your car to keep running like new, so should you. So here's the deal. How many of these fluids have you actually checked or changed in the last 12 months? Comment below with your answer. Be honest. This community is built on helping each other learn and save. And if you found this helpful, like, subscribe, and share this video with that one friend who's still driving around on their original transmission fluid from 2004. Let's outsmart breakdowns, one fluid at a time.